Ayaw muna. Okay. Hi po. Good evening. I'm Albert po from GPS. Um, to you direct, bakit po pala nagbago yung title from Scholarium to Alone Together? Um, to <laughs> Yung Scholarium, it was a working title. Parang feeling ko during the course of the movie, parang hindi na, hindi na uh, apt yung Scholarium to convey the story of these two people. So, parang yung Scholarium kasi parang may, may meron na parang pag pag nalimit ko yung scholarium, parang meron ang bigat ng social responsibility na ang isang pelikula ay ipapangalanan yung scholarium. So, we reached title na tungkol sa story ni Christina Draft, which is Alone Together. Um, when you wrote this story, um, nasa goal na rin po ba ninyo na dapat ako rin yung mag-direct for this movie? Um, pag nagsusulat ako, usually iniisip ko, ako yung magde-direct. So, pero may nasulit din naman ako na hindi ako yung nag-direct. Pero every time I write, parang iniisip ko ako yung magde-direct para, para yung complete experience yung pagsusulat ko. Ayun. Ang um, to, to list, Ken, uh, what are the things na you love doing together? And what are the things na you would rather do it alone and that with Enrique or that with Liza? I'd rather shop loan. Sorry, ah. Pero si Ken, siya po yung babae sa relationship na to. Like, pag nagsha-shop kami, ako 15 minutes done. Hindi ako nag-fit-fit. Wala. And then lang ako. Tapos, Parang alam niya na kagad ko ano gusto niya. Tapos, sa labas ako mag-aantay na kaganan lang. Siya mga, hindi ako okay po. One hour and 30 minutes. May one time, naka two hours siya. Nakakainis siya kasi mga mag-shopping. Kasi pag nag-fit siya, ay huwag kong pasalitain. Pag, pag, pag nag-fit siya, tatanong niya sa akin, oh, maayos ba ito? Kasi sasabihin ko, oo, oh, yan, yeah, maayos, maganda. Tapos parang hindi eh. Parang, uh, tapos siguro mga 15 minutes niya titignan yung isang outfit ng si Mir. Lalakad-lakad pa siya. Ganyan. Tapos, Di ba, sinabi kong maganda, hindi niya kukunin. Lalo na pag kumari gandang-ganda ako sa isang outfit, hindi niya kukunin hindi talaga. Kukunin ko Pero pag ito. sinabi kong hindi maganda, yun yung kukunin niya. Tapos, minsan, reverse psychology, baliktad pa rin. Nakakainis. Okay, explain. Ken, bakit? Hindi, kasi naman ako, syempre kung bibili ako, gusto ko sigurado na kasa sa akin. Kaya Tapos ako, di mo naman sinusuot, namin-namin mong binibili. Sinusuot ko. Kasi naman ikaw minsan binibili mo, saka ka madali mo, hindi ka siya. Oh, so, At least nabibigay ko sa mga kasama ko sa bahay. <laughs> so yun, uh, totoo. Ako sure buyer lang ako, sure buyer. <laughs> Maraming two hours. Hindi naman OA okay yan. Hindi, hindi ako OA. Okay. Kahit sinong tanong okay. ko, nanay mo, kapatid mo, buong pamilya. Grab! Nabay-daman. Confrontation. How about you, Ken? Yung something na you do alone and that with life? Shopping. Kasi <laughs> kontrabida to sa shopping. Kaya gusto mo na, bagay sa akin to. Ken, hindi. Swabby. Wait, ma-hurt naman ako kasi ganda-ganda ako eh. So, um, Kasi taste mo minsan exotic eh. Hindi ko, ko alam kung nagjo-joke siya na gandang-ganda siya. As in direct, gusto niya yung mga makulay na, well, bagay naman sa balat niya, pero pa, hindi, feeling, gusto niya mag-explore minsan, parang hindi siya. Yan. Adventurous. <laughs> together. Uh, yeah, ano ba ba? Ano gusto mo together. together. Movies. I love watching movies with her. Really? Mm-hmm. Hindi mo rin. Parang... Ano naman ka sa ano ka nalimang rin yung movie? Hindi, I mean, pero nag-e-enjoy ka ba kasama? Oo naman! Siyempre. Movies... Um... Eating together? Yan yung sabag ko eh. Isa lang kasi. Eh, eating together. Doing alone. Ano ba? Where is answered alone? Shopping. Isa ah, isa na ba? Um, <laughs> what I like doing together, siguro eating. Kasi ang sarap niya kumain. Like, yung, yung magluluto for Ken, as in sobrang ma-appreciate. Sobrang 
na-appreciate ni Ken pag nagluluto ang isang tao, feeling ko yung kung sino man yung nagluto, sobrang kinikilig. Pag sinasabi niya, sobrang sarap, kahit di naman po. Kasi di ba, pinagluluto ko siya. So many times, Uy, masarap na, naman yung kangkong. Sarap Ay, di ako nagluto ng kangkong. Hindi nga, ikaw pero masarap yun. Masarap. Pero kami kangkong sa bahay nung isang araw, sabi ko, walang sustansya yan. Tapos kinakain niya, ang sarap na sarap siya, walang lasa. Ang meron naman, may oyster sauce. Ang <laughs> <laughs> um, last na lang, ang um, little least kaya, um, yung last film nyo kasi together was a, a huge success. And parang it will be followed by this movie. Um, when you accepted this film, was it a major consideration for you? Kung sino yung magiging director in terms of track record for box office success, in terms of how the story is being told. Kasi yung susundan nyo is a major hit talaga. Mm -hmm. Ako po, parang I, I don't really think about... I think we really base it out of ano din eh, the, the story talaga. It's the, you know, it's the movie that uh, we're gonna present to the people. But uh, that's why we believed in the script in the first place because we felt that you know it was really it was it was beautiful then. And uh, at alam ko marami makakarili talaga. That's why we picked it. So I, in the end of the day, I really think um, of course the director also, but I think it's really the the movie itself. And of course, the director makes sure that that's the right direct. So uh, yeah. Ako, I don't really, I don't think. Parang when I do a movie, parang I, I ask for a good director because I want to try. Manami pa ako hindi na haka trabaho din na director, so gusto ko din naman mahama try to like experience working with other directors so that um, at the same time I can also grow, pick up some techniques from them as well. But like katulad nung when they told us it was director net, parang I I was especially excited yes. because I know na. Direct, yes. Alam mo, nalala ko pa. Sabi, nasa, ko, sabi ko kay Ken, Uy, si Director Net, magaling yan. Uh -huh. Sa Australia, uh, so we were in Australia for ASAP. At dun sinabi sa amin, oh, there's another pitching by Director Net. Oh, sige, perfect. But I said, I, hello? Yeah. <laughs> I said pa nga, ano eh, siya lang yata nagsulat ng story, hindi mm. yata siya director. But then we found out that she was the director. So we were excited mm -hmm. kasi um, I also watched on the wings of love before. <laughs> no, no, I like the story also. So. Thank, Thank you, you Albert from Chicken Essay. Can you tell us about the immersion activities that you did to be able to um, get in touch with your role as college students? Um, oh. Can you share it with us? Um, I went to UP. I stayed in one art studies class. And um, nag interview po ako ng four students and one teacher. Um, about how it is being a student at UP, um, how it is being an art studies major. Um, Nakaikot din po sa UP, nag, ay, sumakay po ako sa ikot, um, kumain kami sa area too. So those are um, some ways na nag-immerse ako. How was that experience for you? It was fun kasi parang feeling ko normal ako na tao. I mean, of course, normal ako na tao, but like, when I go out, I don't get that kind of experience, I guess, to be treated like I'm like how I used to be treated before I started doing movies and series. So, parang wala na. I, it feels good. It feels good because I'm the type of person like whenever I go out to the mall, I love going to the mall because I go in disguise and I love that nobody knows who I am and I can be someone else. Parang ganun. How about you, Nurita? Um, I interviewed some uh, Doctor to the Barrios, which uh, it blew my mind because you can expect ko talaga what Doctor to the Barrios were are kind of different from really far from what I learned from them. Um, sabi nila, first of all, bago tayo mag interview sabi niya, hindi kami sumasakay ng kalabaw. <laughs> sabi niya agad sa akin, ah, ganun ba yun? <laughs> okay, kasi oh, yung transportation, kasi I heard that mahirap yung transportation to ride this kalabaw just to get to um, no, naman daw, not necessarily, but uh, sometimes it's very rural, so they need to take bangkas just to, from one island to get to the hospital, which is like two and a half hours away. So it's very, 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 very difficult, and they get re paid really well by the government, and they stay there for about two to three years. You term nila, dati two years, but now they implement th three years. So you, uh, it's not about just healing the people, because they they also have to. Uh, really fix the whole community. Diba? Wala silang uh, proper water system or wala silang <clears throat> pag may problema sa isla na to, wala silang um, service or bangka to take them. Parang, so, 
when the doctors get there, oh, sige, kaya ayusin natin to. From this timeline to this timeline, ikaw ang, pag may emergency, ikaw ang magdadala. Ikaw naman. So, he's also fixing the community. So, that's why they implemented the third year to really, you know, get more time. And uh, what he said is, um, though yung feeling parang, even they, though they say thank you, he saves lives, baliktad daw para sa kanya. Siya pa nga dapat magpasalamat because kung anong nangyayari sa kanya, whatever he, you know, experiences or kung anong natutunan niya doon, he can never experience it anywhere else. And ibang pakiramdam daw talaga yun. So, I think that kind of blew my mind. Yes, after this yeah. whole immersion thing with um, the doctors and Oscar Liza, which you get back, um, you, sorry, you mentioned getting that you took up college for one step, but you wish that suddenly you got the full college experience. Um, yeah, of course. I mean, I, one way or another, you felt like you, you know, you missed out on a part of your childhood. Um, not really childhood, but you know, part of um, what everybody should go through. Um, but you know, I mean, you can't have everything. Sometimes you have to sacrifice some stuff to be able to, you know, put your efforts and love in other things that you love to do. Um, but I actually started going to school like a couple, like last year. Uh, sa business naman, pero for some reason, but I didn't have the drive, so kind of kind of stop. So fun feeling was having something for me. I uh, really wanted to think of marine biology, yun talaga yung love ko. So hopefully, pag may oras, I mean, in the future, but it's still in the back of my mind, for sure. How about Eliza? Like after being immersed in here, after being immersed in the UP culture for a bit, and after the whole filming experience, do you wish na? Parang sana I took this path na of, or do you feel like you missed out on the college experience of regular Filipinos? Yes, because um, my best friends kaka graduate lang. Actually, I still have one that's in college. So yung mga best friends ko graduate sila, tapos na kaka graduate lang nila. So parang pag nakakwentoan kami, parang sila lang yung nahaka relate sa isa't isa kasi. I didn't get to experience like the normal, you know, the norm of everyone else who went to college. And ako, like, when I think about it, nanghihinayang ako. But at the same time, I'm lucky na I get to work. Pero parang iniisip ko din yung what if, like, nahapag college ako. And then, yeah. and then I got to experience, you know, all the hardships that they go through in college. And parang the satisfaction of actually graduating and that's why I'm amazed by all the students yeah. kahit sa ang school pa yan because I know that it's hard especially like with all the emotions that they have to keep in when they're at school and I know that they have problems outside of their college life as well but it's amazing how they're able to like surpass all those problems and still nakaka graduate sila and yeah I'm just amazed and proud of all of them so i hope that all the students nowadays um they don't take it for granted going to school and that and it was like harder before eh? i mean i think for me it was harder before when uh you had to stop school and yeah. work but i'm really sick of Bakit si kuya, ni kuya ko, bakit he's still studying, ako, I have to work na. Yeah. Uh, yung batchmates ko, nag-aaral pa rin sila, ba't ako, diba? Iba na yung mood ko dapat para I to feel uh, different, you know, my dad's shoes and work, mm -hmm. parang gano'n. I, I remember diba, also, kasi yeah. I was doing She's the One mm -hmm. when I was taking all my entrance exams, mm -hmm. and it was our last day, and I wasn't able to take one of my entrance exams and I started I was crying I was remember that yeah I was crying because I really 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 wanted to go to college like uh, until now it's still a dream of mine well I'm in college right now but like it was always a dream of mine to graduate because my lolo daddy Jeff he always made me promise to him na kahit na artista ako that dapat graduate ako because I think that's the best gift you can give to your parents uh, a diploma and um, last question for me, as seen in the trailer, you guys um, used to have a relationship and then five years later you're with other people already. Eight years? About eight years? Right? Five? Eight years, right? Eight, eight years. years. Ah, sorry, eight years. And then you guys start seeing each other again. Do you think that's okay to do for um, normal people? Like, um, you're with someone else already, but then you kind of meet up with your ex then. Is that okay? Um, well, kung yung ex mo, yung great love mo, ano gagawin mo? Ah, mahirap yun eh. Yeah. Hindi lang ex eh. So, um, you know, your great love might not always be the, the right love, but she's still your great love. I mean, I mean, if you learn from your what if before, 
Are you going to let it pass again? Mm. Uh, I don't know. We'll see. You like it. Um, after eight years, you meet up with your ex. I, well, I can't say that I, I don't see that there really is no problem with that, but it depends on the context, mm -hmm. I guess. Um, it depends on it, like the situation. I'm not saying it's okay yeah. to like yeah. go behind the back of your partner. Yeah. But I guess if you're not really doing anything wrong with your ex, and if you guys like had a good ending, like to the point that friends go, mm -hmm. I think why not? Like I don't think it's a sin naman, to like be friends with an ex. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. So, tanong ko lang sa list ten. So, sa movie, si Rap ang parang cheerleader ni Christine. <laughs> yes, then, si Christine naman ang parang compass giving direction to the life's direction ni, ni, ni Rap. Okay. Okay, yeah. So, sa totoong buhay in your relationship, so is, it that, is that true? Or is it the reverse? Um, I, think I think it's very both. true. But like, we're both each other's cheerleaders. Yeah, both. I think both. I mean, we uh, tend to go to each other for, you know, guidance. For, for guidance, for direction. I mean, who else would I go to with her? So I think, I think we have to do everything. Uh, yeah, I think both. Eh? I cheer her. Yeah. Both both. So how about in giving, being a compass, giving directions, same bit? Yes. I think when she comes and asks me for a direction, I show her, um, yeah, I show her what I think is best for her, what I know deep in her heart that she wants. Uh, just totoo you lang, know, just be true to yourself, and uh, that's what I always tell her. Whatever, you know, just be true to yourself. What What do you feel? Okay, so last question from me. Yes, ma'am. Um, was there like a time na that you were alone together, kumbaga long distance kayo, but you still felt that you are together? Yes, po. <laughs> Can you but, give the example? Um, well, a lot of times kasi na na kapag, uh, I mean, pag malayo kami sa isa-isa, may hihilig kaming mag-video ko. <laughs> habang, habang natutubo. <laughs> Habang nag habang natutulog, habang pag-ising. Just to, yeah. <laughs> Sometimes, naka-on lang eh. So, naiiwan na pag-ising. Uh, naka-on pa pala. So, no, you know. No, sadya yun. Kasi, ikaw ah, dedenay mo pa. Hindi. Ano po kasi, parang for a time, nagkaroon ako ng phobia na makatulog, na mag-isa. Like, kasi before, my brother would sleep in the same room as me. Tapos, syempre, nung tumanta na kami, kailangan na namin mag-separate separate ng rooms. Parang hindi ko kaya na wala akong kasama sa room. So, instead, okay sa akin, like, kunwari, if meron akong ka-video call, because at least I feel like someone's there watching me in case, like, the boogie monster comes and drags me. <laughs> Parang ganun, ganun yung iniisip ko. Okay. <laughs> thank you, okay, sir, <laughs> Hindi po, ah, naloko ako. mas, mas, ah, mas nung college years, as a college student, yung, yung feel ng college, yung parang autobiography, autobiographical. Direct, bakit na-identify ka ng millennials na uwasakan daw ang mga tuloy po lang? Yun ang term nila. Hindi ka nagugulat sa term nila. Siguro nag- Nagkataon lang, nagkataon lang po na ano, parang, hindi ko alam, feeling ko madrama talaga ako as a person, even kahit hindi ako director. So, when, when I write, kunyari nagbablog ako, even in college, mas gusto kong masakit kaysa masaya. So, feeling ko na nalalagay ko siya sa mga stories na sinusulat ko. Yung relationship ba nitong dalawa direct, wasakan o... Magaan o wakas? Ano, anong kategorya ng lalo? Um, happy. Happy. Tapos, yung merong asaran, laging ano, parang laging under dito si, si Ken eh. <laughs> Kailangan. Kailangan. <laughs> parang, pero masaya yung dynamics nila eh. Masaya yung dynamics nila. Kasi, 
si Hobi ano siya eh, hindi siya nag hindi siya nagpapatalo. So kaya natutuwa ako sa kanilang dalawa na hindi natatapos pero pag nag-action na, action na. Uh -oh. Itong mga bida mo, parehong reluctant artist. Ikaw direct reluctant ka rin ba? Or... Reluctant director? Uh Oo. -oh. Uh, no po. Since when I was in college, that was my dream to be a director. So when I graduated, I made it a point na all, parang all paths would be to me making my first film. Thank you po. Thank you, sir. Alan, stars po to. Tanong ka lang kay Direk, Direk, how part yung life mo, yung college, yung part nung naging buhay ni Liza dito? Meron bang kinuha ka din? Part um, of your college life? Yung milieu po ng UP, like pagtambay sa bench, pagkain ng isaw, pag AS lobby, AS steps, pag, 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 ano, pagrenta ng computer para sa internet, yun. Yun yung kinuha ko in general. Yun. <laughs> Tapos you work you know, with different love teams, di ba? Not, not comparing naman, pero how do you describe these two, ano, um, these two artists na bago mong, sabi mo, dream come true to work with them, di ba? Si Hobie and Ken, hindi nila alam, but they're, they're smart actors. Parang when, when I, nung nasa workshop pa lang, Nung sinabi ko sa kanila na they're smart actors, parang, ha? Smart actors? Hindi na parang hindi nila alam na magaling silang artista. And yun yung, yun yung maganda sa kanila na kaya nagiging uh, maganda yung dynamic sa, sa set. Kasi alam nila na, hindi nila alam na may mabibigay sila dun sa, sa eksena. So kaya nagugulat, nagugulat din sila na Kapag sinabi kong, good take, that's a beautiful take. Ha, huh, direct? Lalo si Ken, ha, huh, direct, sure ka? Kasi parang, hindi parang, ano, yun. Kaya na-amaze na ako sa kanila na kahit Liza and Enrique na sila, they still, they still know na, they, they, hindi nila dinadala sa utak nila na sila si Liza tsaka si Enrique. To least, Ken, ah, kanina para kasi nung tinanong ni Chica Nest, yung gina ginagawa nyo alone and together. Ngayon, yung tanong ko, alone, ano yung, kasi six years na kayo magkasama, di ba? Ano yung gusto nyo gawin na alone kayo? Yung gusto nyo pang gawin na alone kayo? Gusto nyo gawin na together kayo? Na hindi nyo pa nagagawa? First, yung alone. Um, alone? I want to try traveling alone. I don't know why, pero um, parang pinag-uusapan naman yung friends ko before when we were um, graduating from high school na parang dream namin parang e pray love to travel alone, discover new things, explore parang ganun um, together mag travel din gusto ko, I wanna huh? Uh, we want to go to South America Africa Antarctica <laughs> 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 Okay, see you again. Um, I want to do together, um, travel. That's one thing. I don't think I can travel alone. You, kaya para mas kaya ako lagi kaya ako magkasama. But it's not me to you know go alone and venture out alone. Parang mas masaya ka sa sa akin kapag mas may kasama ka or mas parang mga sa parang mas meaningful yung trip. You know the memories. Ah, doing alone. Magsiyar. Joke lang. Hindi ko alam, man. Do alone. Hindi ko alam. Hindi mo pa nagagawaan. Joke lang. Lagi ka magsiyar may kasama. Ikaw, hinuhuli mo talaga ako. Si Kuya Jerome ba ito? Tanong ko lang. Sabi ni Trick Dun, hindi na nagpapatalo si Liza. Tanong ko lang kasi parang ang cute, yung, dun, ang cute yung dalawang mag-away, di ba? Ano yung mga maliliit na bagay na pinag-aawayan nyo na? Lahat! Ginagawa mong masama. Hindi, joke lang. <laughs> yung pinagtatalo na nyo, yung pinagtatampuhan nyo na maliliit na bagay, pero uh, parang... Normal naman po talaga yun. I mean, I think normal lang yun eh. Kasi pag hindi kayo nag-tatalunan, parang ano nakakatakot yun. Ano nga daw sabi ano nila? Ha? Hindi ko alam din eh. Ano ba? Bakit ka ba nagagalit? Iyan, yeah, ganito. Ang sabi lang. Pag ginaganan mo yung kilikili ko, ayaw ko. Ah, oo. Oh, okay. Ilang si Basa. Sugutin yung kilikili ko pagbasa. Ah, syempre. Nakakailangan. Nabubulis siya. 